Okay, here we are at Network Marketing 101. And if we scroll down, we can see we can see that these uh, posts are like kind of like classified ads. And when people post something, it goes to the top of the page. And then when somebody posts something new, this post will drop down. The, the newest post will be on top. In order to post on these groups, you need to join them. It's a public group, so all you have to do is click. There will be a join button here. Just click join, and you can join the group. And then once another member approves your application, you'll be a member of the group, and you can post. You can see I've already belonged to this group, so when I hover over this, I can unfollow the group or leave the group. I could share the group, which means I would uh, put a post on my page promoting this group. Notifications. When you click on notifications, you can uh, be notified by when anytime somebody posts something, or highlights, or when your friends post something, or you can just turn it off. I strongly recommend turning it off because people post to these groups frequently, and every time they do, you get a notification up here in your notifications uh, thing. When you click on that, you'll see the notifications you've got. And you also receive emails if you have it set to receive emails every time you get a notification. So I would just set that to off. Then over here, these three dots are some other settings where you can add people to this group. You can manage requests by other people. You can create an event. We're not going to cover that in this video series. You can add this group to your favorites. Those show up over here in your groups area on the sidebar. You can report the group if you think the group is somehow offensive, and that would give it a black mark on Facebook's database. And you can hide the group so that you don't see it anymore. Those are the options. In order to post something and add to this group, all you do is just write something here like you do on your own timeline. And uh, it's similar to making a post on your own wall. You can add photos, videos, uh, put up a polling question, add a file, everything you can do in your own posts. So I'm just going to type something real quick in here. There, that's it. And then just click on Post. And it's right up here at the top. Now, just like any other kind of post, people can leave, uh, they can like it, they can leave comments, they can share it. And that's how it works. Some other things you can do with posts. Every post has a little icon in the uh, upper right corner of the post. And if you click on that, it gives you some options. You can turn off notifications for this poster. You can edit the post if it's yours. You can delete the post if it's yours. Let's go to somebody else's post and click on the little arrow in the upper right hand corner. And you could save the link that they've posted here, or you can turn off notifications for it. You can report the post if you find it offensive or report it as spam. So those are the options on posts. The thing about these ads that you post here, they're not going to stay there very long. So if you want your ad to be seen by more people, you have to come back into the group and repost it. You might have to do that more frequently, depending on how big the group is. Groups that have lots of members, you'll have to post more frequently because people are posting more frequently here, and your message will quickly scroll way down to the bottom. And people do not generally go down too far when they're looking at a group page. So you want to post it once in a while, maybe a few times a day, so people that see it. If it's a smaller group, you won't have to change posts as often because small groups don't get that many new posts. So you don't want to keep repeatedly posting there, otherwise it'll look like you're spamming. So just judge by the size of the group and how often you see post people posting there. You can get software like auto poster software that will go to all your groups and post things for you automatically. 
and you can do that and see how that works for you I don't recommend it because I believe that the further you remove yourself from the actual process the less of your energy is being transmitted across the internet so I personally don't use auto posters but you can experiment with them and see what kind of results you get now I just refresh the page by clicking here and you can see that already my post has moved down one doesn't take long in a large group now once you've joined a few groups you can manage your groups by going over here to your sidebar on the left and clicking on groups and by default they show you your groups the groups you belong to first of all groups that you manage and then groups that you're in and you may have added yourself to some of these groups and some groups pe may people may have added you themselves then you can click on these links at the top and look at new groups and they'll show you a list of new groups and they'll usually show you groups that are uh, that they think you would be interested in based on your profile and your activity and then you can click here for local groups groups that are you know around your where you live based on your profile then you can look at friends groups groups that are managed or owned by your friends or they may be people you know are a member of them like this group here I know Matt and this group I know Tracy so they're showing me groups that my friends belong to then there are suggested groups over here on the left will show you groups that you might be interested in based on your activity and your profile so this is where you can manage and find your groups you can also create a group from this page but now I want to show you a different group so I'm going to go to your groups and go to MLM and tools you can follow the link below this video to go to this page and then follow along with me so we'll see you on the next video.